Hey guys, I'm I'm so awesome with the Call of Duty Black Ops Charged Brigadier's Clan. This is the first video in a series of Black Ops guides going over weapons, tactics, and miscellaneous strategies. This particular video is a weapon guide. I'm going over the Galil, one of the most popular weapons in the game. It is a fully automatic assault rifle. The Galil can be purchased for 2,000 COD points at level 20. In real life, it is a family of Israeli small arms produced by Israeli military industries. It comes in five times as a standard length assault rifle, carbine, compact version, LMG rifle hybrid, and semi-automatic sniper rifle. Contrary to popular belief, the variant featured in Black Ops is the Galil ARM, which is the LMG rifle hybrid. This can be identified by its top carrying handle and bipod. The Galil in Black Ops was probably classified as an assault rifle due to factors that normally classify assault rifles, such as average movement speed and aiming down sight speed. Formally accepted into the Israeli military in 1972, the Galil family of firearms replaced the FNFAL. It won a competition among several other designs, including the M16, AK-47, and HK-33. The Galil is a very average gun. It deals moderate damage with a moderate rate of fire and low recoil. The factor that distinguishes the Galil from other guns in the same category, and what probably makes it so popular, is its magazine capacity. It holds a 35 round magazine, 50 with extended mags, in contrast to all the other fully automatic rifles that hold 30 and 45 respectively. This makes the Galil and Black Ops comparable to an LMG, albeit not as powerful as most. However, these unique characteristics can allow you to use different playing styles with as well. The Galil has the same average aim down sight speed of all the assault rifles. It takes three shots to kill at the body at close range to medium range with two for a headshot, and four shots to kill at the body at medium long range to long range with three for a headshot. Its one major drawback is its awkwardly long reload time. It takes roughly three seconds to reload the Galil and around four unloaded. This can be compensated for with dual mags, as the iron sights are relatively easy to use if you don't want to use sleight of hand. The recoil has a small upward kick with some side-to-side -side sway. Its iron sights are easy to use, but they're not my favorite due to the fact that they obstruct a lot of the target. The Galil has an average rate of fire of 750 rounds per minute. The first attachment on the Galil is extended max. It increases the Galil's capacity to a rather large 50 rounds. This can make the Galil somewhat suited for a mobile support and defense role. Like an LMG, you can lock down a choke point or defend a certain area of the map from enemy attacks. Because of the assault rifle's decent ADS and mobility, you can lock down an area for a small period of time and quickly convert back to a regular moving playing style without too much trouble. This makes the Galil a rather versatile weapon. The reload time can be managed if you reload at the right times. Dual mags compensates for the Galil's awkward reload without the need for sacrificing your second tier perk slot for sleight of hand. Otherwise, it's not that special. The basic optics options are fairly useful on the Galil, as the iron sights tend to obstruct a lot of the target and I find it difficult to be recise with them in the first place. A lot of people use the suppressor on the Galil, but I do not favor it. The Galil only does moderate damage, and adding a suppressor makes that even more noticeable. You're better off using a gun with higher damage or a higher rate of fire, like the FAMAS or the FAL. The Master Key and Flamethrower are pretty straightforward. The Galil lacks a close range punch, so they can come in handy at times. Use them to clear out tight spaces, campers, and for CQC combat. The grenade launcher is the same old, same old. It can be used to take down groups of enemies, flush out bad guys in windows and buildings from a distance, and kill enemies that are inaccessible for a clear shot from the angle you're in. This can apply to any other gun using it. The ACOG scope is semi-decent on the Galil, although the upward right kick might throw you off a little bit. Some might find the reticule to be a bit imprecise, too. The infrared scope is actually pretty useful if you show a little bit of trigger discipline. And keep your distance, of course. It can be used to lock down a certain area for a little bit from a distance.
As far as perks go, you can go with virtually anything. Scavenger Pro can be used to give you a few extra magazines, which will come in handy if you want to use the Galil in a more versatile nature. However, it comes with a good amount of ammo to start out with without Scavenger. If all else fails and you do run out, you can always pick up guns from the ground. Lightweight is rather useless on any assault rifle class, as the ADS won't be able to match up with your movement speed, unless you have Sleight of Hand Pro. Ghost doesn't very well match the Galil. The suppressor isn't the best attachment to use on this gun, and you probably won't be able to move fast enough to make much of a difference on the enemy's maps. Flak Jacket and Hardline are my two favorite blue perks, depending on the game type I'm playing. Flak Jacket comes in handy in objective games with bombs, while Hardline can help you get an edge in games that focus more on killing, like in the Ground War playlist. Hardened can be useful, especially Hardened Pro, as reducing a knockback when being fired upon can help you lock down an area for short periods of time much more effectively. If you plan to be more mobile, it's not as significant though. The Galil already doesn't have very good close range punch, so steady aim won't do much for you. If you find it necessary to have some cl good close range capabilities, consider one of the underslung attachments. You can use sleight of hand to compensate for the almost LMG-like reload, and use a reflex or a red dot sight. Or you can use Warlord in combination with dual mags and another attachment. Second Chance is my preferred rifleman perk, as I can't find much of an inch for any of the others to fill. Marathon and Marathon Pro can help you move around, running and gunning and supporting without a need for slowing down as much. Ninja is practically useless in this class setup, along with Hacker and the Tactical Mask. The Galil is one of the most unique guns in its category. It uses its advantages mercilessly. Its low reload time, finicky recoil, and obstructive iron sights can be a downer, but you can overcome them easily if you play the right way. The Galil is poor at close range compared to other guns. In conclusion, the Galil is one of, if not the most versatile assault rifle in the game, and can be a nightmare to the opponent of a skilled user wielding it. Here are my recommended loadouts. As always, experiment to your playing style. Thanks for watching! I hope this guide helped you out a good deal. Don't forget to contact me on YouTube or my email if you have any questions. Until my next video, goodbye and good luck on the battlefield.